This is ESPN Esports. I'm Ardo Cal. The final Ignition Series event for European Valorant is on the horizon. It will be put on by a very familiar tournament organizer and name. Here are all the details. So Twitch has partnered with Blast to put on the Twitch Blast Invitational. It's going to happen from September 11th to 13th this weekend. And it will involve, at least on the competitive end, it will involve four teams and four very familiar names in European Valorant thus far. G2, perhaps the most dominant team in the entire world, definitely have swept all of the Ignition Series events in EU. They will be joined by Team Liquid, Fun Plus Phoenix, and Ninjas in Pajamas to compete for the 50,000 euro prize pool. It will be happening this weekend. There will also be show matches, not as part of the tournament itself, but on the other end of things, we're going to see show match to, uh, exhibition matches. Presumably, we haven't exactly heard who what these teams will be consisted of or who will be part of these teams but we will have show matches involving presumably influencers content creators major twitch streamers maybe even celebrities but those matches will be happening separately from the four team major competition in itself uh, that is a decision that i like greatly we've seen previous twitch rivals events for example where we've seen mixing and matching of streamers and, and competitors. Not many people like that format, so the fact that we're separating them, that's great. If you enjoy show matches, you can go and watch them. It's great. It's available to you in th uh, this weekend. If you only enjoy the competition, you can enjoy that and enjoy that high-level action and that top-quality entertainment in terms of competition this weekend as well with Blast. So, Blast, no stranger to esports fans, particularly Counter-Strike. They've been putting on Blast Pro Series events, for example, for years uh, hefty prize pools for counter-strike events this is their first foray into a major valorant tournament this is from the blast website uh, this is going to be a series of tournaments i found that to be interesting so it doesn't sound like this is going to be the only one this is only the launch point a series of tournaments created in partnership with players teams content creators and tournament organizers from all over the world focused on building the valorant competitive ecosystem so this is interesting because this is the last Ignition Series event, but it looks like Blast will be continuing to put on Valorant events as we get to the next Series event, whatever that might be called. And we don't know when that's even going to be. All we know is that this is going to be the last Ignition Series event in Europe. Pop Flash was the last Ignition Series event in North America. Of course, the League of Legends World Championship is coming up. That is certainly on Riot's mind, first and foremost. Uh, that will dominate most of the end of September into all of the month of October. But beyond that, we don't know much of what's coming forward in terms of Riot-sanctioned Riot events in November and December. Maybe it, we will have to wait until 2021 to get the next series of official events from Riot. And then that's when we will see these sort of tournament organizers make their plans and then see that ecosystem again just like we saw with the ignition series this is going to be interesting i think a lot of people have questions as to why this is not an open series event why aren't we seeing a lot of smaller eu teams get their opportunity to vie for a prize pool like this like the vitality open being a great example of teams leveling up and proving their worth and catching the eye of orgs especially now that we won't have many major tournaments on the horizon for a little while this might have been the last opportunity for smaller teams to catch the eye of major orgs that might be looking to invest in Valorant, but that's not the case here. It's going to be a four-team tournament, at least for that 50,000 euro prize pool, and uh, the four teams that I mentioned, certainly G2, are the ones to look at here. They've already swept the Ignition Series up until now, and all signs point to them basically a clean sweep for the Ignition Series, uh, barring some major catastrophe. G2 look to be the clear prohibitive favorite going into this tournament, taking nothing away from the other teams it's just that they've been performing at a whole other level and so that looks to continue here uh, against team liquid fpx and ninjas in pajamas i do like the idea this is going to be a double elimination format with a winners and losers bracket that's very familiar uh, especially to previous valorant tournaments i do like the idea that whoever wins this tournament has to Oh, there there are scenarios that exist that they have to beat the other three teams in order to do so so i do like that part of it uh, even if they don't they will have to at least face two so it's going to be very interesting to see these kind of matchups and also this gives these teams a lot of opportunity to simply study tape on those teams so you can presume that teams like team liquid fpx and nip are certainly studying g2 perhaps the most 
and studying each other as well. This makes a nice contained finite amount of tape that needs to be watched. You don't have to worry about other teams or even emerging teams coming out of nowhere and showing you strats that you've never seen before. Uh, now you get to study the other three teams in the tournament. Uh, coaches can strategize and think of outside the box methods in order to defeat these teams. So maybe we will see something extraordinary or unorthodox from other teams en route to trying to defeat G2. That element of it, uh, makes me very excited as well to see what teams will bring to the table when there's only three other teams to worry about in a tournament like this let us know in the comments below what you think about this tournament format what you thought of the ignition series as a whole europe versus north america certainly that rivalry is brewing i'm enjoying that i'm enjoying seeing it and and, and you're talking about g2 carlos is the one that's really throwing the fuel onto the fire as it pertains to eu versus na i absolutely love that i think that it's really good for this scene of course we can't have an event until it is safe to do so give us all of your thoughts in the comments below